What's more important, the depth of knowledge of a current event or you having a day that's focused, structured, peaceful, meaningful, so you can bring your best self? Ask yourself that question. And, and, and sometimes we just get, the world comes at us and we just keep taking in the news. We're taking in the news. We're taking in current events. We're taking in this. We're and I'm not saying don't have any sort of sympathy or empathy towards, I get that. But to what degree do you want to take in current events? To what degree? And if you're going to take it in, are you going to do something about it? Are you going to do something about it? Because when you, you know as much as I do, the only thing that shifts your life is action, right? Thinking about something doesn't change it. Action. So if you're like, look, right now, my focus has to be here. Have some limitations on what you take in because it will increase what you output. Decrease the input, increase the output. I'm telling you, decrease the input, decrease the input, increase your output. If you are trying to increase output in your life, whether it's grow your business, you know, start more cases, get that marketing thing started, and you haven't taken the time to put barriers around what is coming in, you are going to feel really stressed. Another way said is you've got to turn down the dial and the volume on the noise. And this is, this, is, this is a pandemic right now, which is people have a tough time focusing on one thing at a time because there's a lot of noise in the world. So my like, call to action for you is your life and your ambitions and what you want to do in your practice. That's important. Your life is meaningful. And you have a certain amount of time to do things. Life moves. You know that. You have a certain amount of time to do things. And don't be giving away chunks of those things to things that are not going to serve you to deliver the best of you. When you think of what I just said there. Don't be giving away time to those things that are not going to serve you to deliver the best of you. Is the world better when you deliver half of you or all of you? Is the world better when you, you come half full? Hey, guys, let's start your crown today. Let's start your cases. But I'm coming at you as half the doctor I could be. Is that patient getting the best of you? No. Is the world better when you deliver half of you? No, it's not. If you want to save the world, if you want to heal the world, if you want to help the world, if you want to do the things you want to do, the greatest thing you can do, deliver all of you. Deliver all of you. Come in 100%. Come in 100%. Hey, once you've done that, once you've done that, then start working on some other stuff. But I think that right there is a reminder for all of us. As I say this to you, it is also a reminder to me. It is also, every, and everyone should be focusing on how do I deliver 100% of me? If you could just do that, you make things better, not just for you, but those around you. Just look at how your team's going to react to that. Look at how your patients are going to feel from that. That alone is an amplification effect. That alone is an amplification effect.